going on everyone jack here from half chrome and i finally finished putting together my five inch hd zero build when i put this together i wanted some specific components so i'm going to talk about some of those things including this f7 speedy b stack and it's pretty darn awesome so i'm going to highlight this uh, and talk about some of the other things that i used stay tuned Okay, so first of all, let me just say that I do not think that building a drone is for everyone, right? And if you want HD zero on a five inch, I think right now that's the only way to do it. You're going to have to build and a good build starts with a good stack. And this Speedy B F7 stack is pretty much top of the line. First, I want to tell you a little bit about this flight controller. Like I said already, it's an F7. We've got a USB-C port. Um, you can pretty much plug everything into it, right? So I've got LEDs that are plugged in. Um, I'll show you those when they light up. You know, you, there's a plug for the VTX, there's a plug for the receiver, uh, there's a plug for a DJI air unit if that's what you're going for, Vista, I'm not sure which one it is. Again, like I said, I put HD zero on this thing. They even have a plug for, of course, the camera and even a GPS unit if you want to add stuff like that. There are, of course, plenty of soldering pads if you rather just go that route. Uh, but yeah, really nice layout on this F7 flight controller. Plenty of space, plenty of room for soldering. Although, again, I didn't have to do a ton of it because um, I basically just took the plugs that were included and then I soldered my components to the other ends of those. The ESC is really nice. It's a BL Heli S uh, 50 amp ESC. Um, there's plenty of space in between the pads for soldering. So again, really nice. They also give you a pretty decent sized battery lead and a big old honking capacitor to add to it. But the really nice feature about this flight controller stack combo is that it's Bluetooth enabled and it's set up for speedy B. So if you don't want to configure um, with your computer, maybe you don't have one or you just want to be able to configure your quad out in the field, you can do that with your smartphone and it's super easy to do. Step one is download the speedy B app. It's free and easy to use. Step two, plug in your quad. those LEDs. Beautiful, right? Just plugged right in. Now what I'm going to do is on my phone, I'm just going to tap where it says Bluetooth and it's going to look for my flight controller. And you can see that it found it pretty quickly. I just tap on connect. Now it's connected to my flight controller and you can see that it's going to operate just like beta flight, but on my phone. So I can do this out in the field and that's a really nice feature. Going through the menus is actually pretty quick and easy. Gosh, I can even do defaults on here. I can do everything. So it's basically full functioning beta flight, right? We've got our PIDs, we've got our receiver, we've got our modes tab, we've got our motors. You can do BL Heli, all of that fun stuff on here, OSD. It's full functioning beta flight in the field without a computer. Now, if you don't want this flight controller, you can buy a SpeedyB adapter, but Having it built into the controller is really nice. They even talk about being able to download black box data in less than a minute, so that's super nice as well. So yes, if you want HD zero, you're gonna have to build your own drone. Other things you want to consider, definitely uh, ELRS as a receiver, definitely an upgrade over FR Sky stuff, better range, better fidelity, and once you kind of figure it out, it's actually really darn easy. It's basically like Crossfire, but less expensive and actually easier to use. So why would you not be on Express LRS? I opted for some 2207 motors from Emacs. I'm running 4S still, so um, that's kind of my thing. I'm not quite ready for the 6S power. Um, I've got this nice little fin to flip over. This is a racing style quad, so pretty tight and compact. Uh, but overall, I'm a big fan of it. The HD Zero is really nice. You just get that instant latency. I'm not a latency snob, but the variable latency on the DJI system has messed me up from time to time. Usually, I don't notice any issues, but if I'm going behind obstacles or getting out there in range, I will notice some of that change in lag. And that variable latency can be difficult to maneuver. With the HD Zero system, you get the digital feed and you get lower latency and it's consistent. And I think that's key. Now again, building a quad, I just have to caution you, it's not for everybody. I've got hours and hours into this thing and not just the build, you know, I mess things up and I had to take it apart, reassess, reevaluate, um, 
and I still have things that I need to do. I've gone through a couple of antennas. I need to get a better antenna back here. But yeah, just kind of note that building a quad takes some time and some effort. And if that's something you want to do, make sure you have plenty of time and a little bit of extra cash because you're probably gonna run into a hiccup or two. And uh, really the only way to solve it is to buy new parts. Anyway, I hope this was helpful. If it was, give us a thumbs up. Make sure you subscribe to the channel so you don't miss more content coming your way. If you're not a Patreon, consider becoming one. That's uh, another way you can help support the channel. Anyway, good luck, everyone, and happy flying.